Hi peoples, uh, so today what I'm going to be going over here <coughs> is uh, we're going to look at the Hot Core T300 Lightweight Tapered Sleeping Bag. I bought this sleeping bag with the idea of doing a lot of uh, cold, or somewhat cold weather uh, camping. And uh, it works great. Like it is definitely warm enough for you if you need to just stay warm. It is rated for minus 20 C, minus 4 F. Um, so it does get down there for the temperature wise. Um, it's considered a lightweight bag. So it's actually light and it actually found back pretty small. Um, worked great my uh, my pack. Uh, I have the old Ibex 65 liter Mac bag and it actually fit perfectly with a pocket on the bottom. And it worked great, stuffed right in there. So fit just nicely. Um, the only thing that I did not actually particularly like about this bag is uh it is because it being a taper bag i don't i didn't realize how much of a claustrophobic sleeper i am but i do not like being completely cocooned as bad as this thing gets you um, i'm not a small person but i'm also not a huge person so when i put this thing on it's one of those bags where once you zip it up you are completely engulfed in the bag completely um, if i rolled over the whole bag went with me and that drove me crazy and if this was just a regular sleeping bag without the mummy because this is a mummy style so it comes up over your head too um if it wasn't a style like that wouldn't be too bad it'd be tolerable because if you're rolling over at least your pillow staying where it should be but because when i roll over and that hood comes with it my pillow moved every time so you end up waking multiple times up to the night, and I'm a, I'm a mover. I move around when I'm sleeping, so every time I'd move, my pillow would move, I'm uncomfortable, I would wake up. And if you're a smaller person, yeah, it worked great. And like I said, it's light, it's only 4 pounds, and the sizes are 90 inches by 32 inches, and it tapers down to 22. Um, that really bothered me with the feet, really, really did. It says it's 400 grams. For the filling so yeah it does keep you pretty warm but i think at night when we were out there it was dropping down to about zero and uh i was hot like i stayed really warm in it so yeah I'll quickly take it out so you guys can look at it packs real nice in this little compression sack comes on oh real easy Nice bright orange. So yeah, it's uh, got the little hood. It's got the Velcro right here to keep the zipper up. And it is a two-way zipper, so you can keep the zipper on the inside and on the outside. The Tero they use for the inside is really nice. Um, it's not like a cotton feeling but uh more like a waterproof polyester kind of feeling i guess 
Uh, that was a problem too, because if you did get a little warm, and because it couldn't be so tightly, that when I'd sweat a bit at night, I would stick to this. And once again, there, I'm just moving wearing this damn bag the whole time. So, uh, for length though, it worked. I just fit, I'm six foot two, and I did fit in this all the way to the end. But uh, here's, here's at the bottom, how it tapers down. Here's the top. So you can see that it does taper down quite a bit. So my general opinion on this is, is if you like a little bit of movement at night so you can just move around in your bag, I wouldn't recommend this bag. I think they have a non-tapered version I might try next. Um, but in all honesty, I might just switch to a lot wider of a bag, an extra wide bag. Because I do like moving and uh, I'm not overly concerned about the little bit extra weight I'm going to get because if I don't sleep, my day is not good. So I will carry an extra pound to make sure I can sleep at night. You can see how uh, it covers you completely. You got little ropes that you can use to uh, tighten up if you want to mummify yourself in here. But, see? not too terrible tight, but it is tight for me. I don't like to be able to slide through it. So, but if you're a little bit leaner or a smaller human being, probably work great for you. I mean, it's just not the greatest. I think I'm going to pass this off to the woman. She'll sweat. So. so the temperature was great. kept me warm. It was actually really warm. I was probably one of the warmer people out there. The material is comfy, just don't sweat because it sticks to you. If you don't mind being hugged the whole night, it's a great one for you too. I don't. So, thanks for tuning in. This I know this is a short one, but I didn't want to go too in depth on this. If you want to know more about ratings and all that, like I said, though, minus 20, if you're just going to survive, I wouldn't push it. But, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.